Happening right now, a desperate search for a beloved grandfather missing in the foothills. The 82-year-old went out for his usual walk in Diamond Springs five days ago, but never came home. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live there tonight with the National Guard now stepping in to help. Anna. Yeah, guys, this search involves dozens of people, and crews are coming from as far as the Bay Area. All over Diamond Springs, you'll find signs just like this with Don Morshot's face on them. It's been five days, and Don suffers from dementia, so the search is urgent. A lover of the outdoors, now battling to survive it. 82 year old Don Morshot used to be a farmer and a hunter. He's very physically fit for a gentleman his age. Now he spends his days hiking, but sadly he never came back from his last hike Sunday afternoon in an area known as Diamond Dam. CHP and the National Guard are out in full force searching dense terrain for a man very much loved by his community. These people are like family to me and to a lot of other people. They're adopted, grandparents, brother, sister. On a daily basis, up to 70 people are searching using ATVs, quads, and horses. She's a good horse. Alicia and her horse Riley are helping search the narrow paths and creeks that vehicles may not be able to get to. Might as well have everybody going out there as much as possible. Don was last seen at his home off of Forest Lake Road wearing what friends call his usual uniform, a denim shirt and straw hat. Don is a strong man. He is a principled man. Don went missing in the area near his home two years ago, but he was able to hike almost seven miles and find help. His family and friends have faith he will be reunited with his wife in his home once again. They have spent their life helping other people, and they're super independent, and they, they resist help from others, and we just want to help them. Yeah, and with so many people searching, the hope is that Dawn is found soon. Some of the crews that have come here to Diamond Springs from out of town are actually staying overnight, waking up and searching again. And they're asking if anyone sees him to call the El Dorado County Sheriff's Office.